Hey everybody, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Today on The Real Opinion, we take a look at the remake of a Disney classic. The new Peach Dragon may not have soared to the top of the box office, but did it deliver the magical experience Disney was hoping for? Let's take a look. After a little boy named Pete is stranded in the forest after his parents crash their car, he meets a dragon who first becomes his protector, but then becomes his closest friend. Around six years after being stranded, Pete and his dragon are discovered by civilization. As far as remakes go, I don't think this could be any more different than the original, and that is a pretty good thing. I am not really a fan of the original Peach Dragon, though I give it some credit for its technical side, the original is probably one of the weakest Disney classics. Other than a few things, this movie pretty much is just Peach Dragon in name alone. This new take on the story honestly felt like they took a couple of the leftover ideas from the Jungle Book live action version and added it to this movie. It's pretty easy to compare Pete to Mowgli. This movie is pretty simple in its premise and for the most part it works. While I didn't feel the magic or wonder that the movie tried to convince me of, I thought that the story was decent enough to enjoy. Anything that needs real emotion works okay, but not as well as the movie would like it to. I like the design of Elliot a lot. He seemed to be closer to a dog than a dragon, which works because Pete names him after a dog in a book he likes. The effects are pretty good as well. He reminded me and a lot of people I talked to over the weekend of Falcor from The NeverEnding Story. The rest of the cast is solid, but nothing special. Carl Urban hams it up as the villain who is trying to capture our titular dragon. If you are looking for a safe family movie, Peach Dragon is not a bad choice. I didn't love it, but I didn't think it was anywhere near as bad as the original. But remember, it's only just one guy's opinion. Next time on The Real Opinion, we take a look at the new animated adventure, Cubo and the Two Strings. Until next time, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion.